Hi, I'm in our testing lab, and today we will be comparing two booster fans. We've got the Suncourt unit DB206, this is a 6 inch booster fan, and we've got the Churnlet EF 6 duct booster fan. And what we're going to be doing is comparing today these two booster fans, their actual performance compared to their state of performance. So if you, if you compare for right now, the state of performance of the Suncourt DB206 is 250 CFM at zero inches static, and the Turnlink EF6 stated CFM is 180 CFM. So we're going to take a somewhat realistic application. Um, we've added 10 feet of pipe here, and we're going to compare the performance of these two fans, do a quick uh, volometer test for airspeed, and then calculate based on this pipe for CFM and see what they really stack up. You know, a 10 foot run is probably towards the lower end, and so um, as you add more and more pipe, you add more and more resistance to flow, and you get a lower CFM, but we're going to see in this 10 foot section where these fans really stack up in reality. So um, both these fans do not come with power cords, but I've added power cords for ease of this demonstration. And so first, I will plug in the Suncourt unit. You can hear that ramping up. And now I'll plug in the Churnlet EF6. These haven't been toyed with anyway, except for to uh, basically add the power cords. Um, the fans are pretty much the same style. The Churlin fan is about a half inch longer, but they both are for six inch pipe, and the Churlin fan comes with an electrical box where you need to add one for the Suncourt unit. Um, the Churlin one's a little bit heavier gauge, um, but other than that, they're very, very similar. So now that they've had a chance to kind of uh, go up to speed, we're going to do two quick comparisons. So this is a volometer. This is how we measure air speed. I'm going to first put it right up against the edge here of the Suncourt unit. And what you see in that dial is the feet per minute uh, ramp up. So this is how many feet per minute. And once it stabilizes, that's our feet per minute. So we're at 113 feet per minute in air velocity. And then when I bring it over to the Churlin EF6, I'm going to let it wait for it to stabilize. We're already in above 500, 600. We're at 912. So we're at 113 and 912. So if you come over here, we do a quick calculation. 113, and I've got 912. Now according to, um, you know, a lot of the formulas out there, it's basically, um, without going to like basically four decimal places, you basically multiply these numbers, this velocity for six inch pipe, times 0.2 to get your actual CFM. So if you do 0.2 here, you, ended up, you end up with 22.6 CFM. And you multiply this times 0.2, and you end up with 182.4 CFM. So as you can see, um, you know the Churlin CFM is probably accurate with some resistance of flow, where the Suncourt uh, CFM is greatly exaggerated. And so when you're making a buying decision, uh, make sure that you take into account not just the stated CFM by the manufacturer, but the actual CFM kind of as shown in this demonstration. And that's a comparison of the Suncourt DB206 inductor booster fan and the Churlin EF-6 duct booster fan.